The radio voice of Kutztown University, KUR. You're listening to Jazz on the KU Radio Lounge right now. And speaking of jazz, tonight is the beginning of the Berks Jazz Fest across Berks County. And one of those uh, events is right here on campus in the newly renovated Schaefer Auditorium. Former Tonight Show band leader Kevin Eubanks is going to be on campus in the Schaefer Auditorium at 7.30. And I have a, I'm have greatly honored to have him on the phone right now. Good morning, Mr. Eubanks. How are you, man? How pleasure, you doing? pleasure to have you here. How are you doing, sir? Good. Now, Good. you know, obviously most of us know you from your, uh, you know, I believe it was 10 or 15 years as the band leader for The Tonight Show with Jay Leno, but uh, I'd like to have a little bit of background about you. First of all, you're actually from the area, right? Philadelphia? Yeah, I was born and raised in Philadelphia, and I actually lived in Allentown for a couple of years. Okay, right up the road. Yeah. Uh, I was in Allentown before I left for uh, L.A. I lived in New York a lot, obviously, Okay. Um, before then. So, uh, yes, yeah, so I grew up in Philly playing a lot of music. My family always been a music family, so it was an uh, easy fit for me. <laughs> sure, absolutely. So, what, what you know, obviously you had a, a, a music family. Did you know from the time you were a, a, a child, pretty much, that you were going to do music professionally all your life? Um, well, I didn't really think about it in the profession. I just really loved playing music. I, I just never thought about what it would be, uh, you know, mm-hmm. going up in, as a profession or a career. We just had uh, a lot of fun playing music, and I just wanted to get better at it every day, no matter what instrument it was. And at that time in Philadelphia, being in a band was pretty typical. There were a lot of uh, neighborhood bands all over the city, and we played anything we could get our hands on, um, weddings, dances, anything. Absolutely. So, um, we just had a blast, and everybody in the band was your best friend, so um, it made one of the things, it's one of the things that made growing up so much fun in Philadelphia. Have you always liked jazz? Has, has your music, um, you know, uh, profession always led you down the jazz route, or do you like all sorts of music? Like most people, I like all sorts of music. And um, I, I was actually, uh, and still am, in a lot of ways, surprised that people still really gravitate towards, um, you know, labeling one genre of music to yeah. a musician because it's kind of like athletes. Most athletes can play all the different sports, right. <laughs> or a lot of them. I mean, they're athletes. They're, they're not a football athlete. They're not a basketball athlete. They're athletes, mm. and musicians are the same way. Um, most musicians can play a lot of different kinds of music. So to, to musicians, a lot of times we, um, you know, get pigeonholed. I guess people are more comfortable doing that, or that's just a trend because it's how they categorize everything. But to a lot of musicians, you know, you look up and go, oh, they're talking about me. Yeah. Um, but I like a lot of stuff. <laughs> so, but that's just the way it goes. We don't really have control over that. Now, for the question that you know, I'm sure everybody wants me to ask you. We, we of course know you best for your, uh, you know, a, about a decade or so with, uh, you know, Jay Leno and the Tonight Show. Tell us how that all came about. How do you how did you land into that? Well, um, uh, I knew a lot of musicians, and um, Jay and I basically got along great. Mm-hmm. So um, once we met, we just always had a rapport between the two of us that just kind of was effortless. And that um, turned into what it was. I mean, we would, for no particular reason, it's like if you meet somebody and they're just easy to talk to Mm -hmm. and um, easy for them to talk to you. And they asked me would I uh, enjoy being a band leader. I said, well, I I was really nervous. Everybody at makeup was laughing the first day because I broke Mm -hmm. out. I had all these bumps all over my face because I was so nervous. (laughs) So, um, But it turned out um, really well. But I think the basis of it and how it all really got going was the fact that Jay and I just naturally are uh, really compatible. So it just worked out well on camera. So how many years were you with The Tonight Show? 18 years. Oh, okay. So when I, I said a decade or 15 years. I was even a little low on that. 18 years. Wow, it's a long time. Do you miss it? Sure. Yeah? Sure. I'm sure. Yeah, I miss seeing all my friends. You know, you work with people that long and at such a, you know, fun show you kind of miss things that you never really think of. People usually think of, oh, you miss the action or right. the camera and all that. But mostly you just miss, you know, your friends. And you watch, you know, people have kids and grow up and you go to their parties. And then all of a sudden you just don't see 
each other anymore after seeing each other for 18 years. So sure. you kind of miss a lot of the things. Uh, one thing I don't miss is the traffic in L.A. <laughs> That's for sure. Brutal. Um, I'm, I'm sure. It's, it's really a, a, an experience in itself that I, I do not miss. But, yeah, you miss seeing your friends. I miss seeing Jay all the time and hanging out, even though we do get together. Um, fairly often to uh, either eat or I go to his shows or we just, you know, we just we still stay in touch pretty often. That was going to be my one of my questions, if you still keep in contact with Jay. So now I'll jump to my next question then. Everybody wants to know what you've been doing since The Tonight Show. Obviously, you're a professional jazz musician and you're going to be a part of Burke's Jazz Fest here in Burke's... Uh, have you ever been a part of the Burke's Jazz Fest before? No. No, okay. first time. All right, well... And, uh, I'm sorry. Mostly what I've been doing is uh, traveling around the world, making records and playing shows, and uh, seeing my family a lot more. Um, typical things that musicians do. Right. <laughs> you know, we <laughs> we tour, and uh, it's interesting mm-hmm. that too, I was just in Russia right at the exact time um, the uh, and all the things that are going through in Ukraine oh, wow. and mm-hmm. uh, Crimea were happening. I was actually touring Russia at the time. So those are one of the invaluable things about being a, a touring musician is that you get to be in places and and be a part of things. Well, not a part of them, but you get to see things. It's closer than if you just, you know, turn on the television. You get to really meet people in these countries and have some different experiences and, and meet a lot of great people, too. So that that's one of the things, which also is one of the things I liked about the Tonight Show. I got to meet a lot of people mm-hmm. that you just don't normally get to meet. And in touring, you get to do the same thing. So it kind of changes your viewpoint about things when you actually meet people uh, in the countries that you visit and, and get friends and, and all that. And, and the same thing um, playing at the Tonight Show. It's, um, you know, once you get to be friends with Willie Nelson or... And different musicians, you start to understand their music a lot more. You become part of it more. I got to be really good friends with uh, Buddy Guy and BB King, and um, and they really encouraged me. They said, "Man, you could you could play blues, man. You should play more blues. You got it in your spirit." And and that encouraged me to get more and more. And I think that's one of the things that uh, developed in in my personal music was my love for blues and country music because I was so exposed to these people. Sure, and that kind of happens when you tour, touring around the, around the world too. Right. Final question, because I know you're busy and you've got to prepare for tonight's performance here on campus, and I, and I want to be respectful of your time. But you know, you spent obviously close to 20 years with the Tonight Show. Now you're out on on your own touring around the world. Where you know, where's Kevin Eubanks five, ten, fifteen, twenty years from now? Do you see yourself uh, continuing with music or any different directions? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, man? You just you know, you just try to do the right things for the right reasons and uh, do a good job of what's in front of you and. And have some fun. I always keep a little smile and, you know, and uh, just keep moving. Who knows where you're going to be. But hopefully, wherever it is, it's a, it'll be in a good place. Good. Uh, definitely a good attitude. You want to give your website or any ways we can, uh, you know, stay in touch with what you're doing around the world? Yeah, KevinEubanks.com. Okay. It's good. And uh, Twitter, you know. Cool. The, the usual. <laughs> All right. The usual. Okay. Well, I want to be respectful of your time. Thank you so much for giving me about 10 minutes of your time, Kevin Eubanks. We look forward to seeing you tonight at Schaefer Auditorium, 730. All right? All right. Take care, man. Thanks Have a lot. great day. All right. Kevin Eubanks, former band leader from The Tonight Show.